GoPro Hero 7, black. 12 megapixel camera, 4K video at 60 frames a second. Touchscreen, voice control, waterproof. GPS, eight times slow motion. High dynamic range, hyper smooth video and live streaming. But is it any good? So I had the GoPro Hero 3 Black back in the day, and I bought it purely because it could do 1080p at 120 frames a second. I used it for one shot and one shot that I wanted, and then I sold it. So every year GoPro release a new model, and these usually pass me by. But I'm always the one saying, oh, imagine we had a GoPro to strap on that. That would look amazing. So with some of the new features, I bit the bullet. And here it is, the GoPro Hero 7 Black. So what can I say about this? Well, first of all, it looks awesome. I mean, look at it, it's tiny. You can mount it literally anywhere you want and just be creative with it. I've got a couple of mounting points on my car, which is perfect for getting the driver and the passenger at the same time for some on-the-go vlogging. Take it off, flip it around, and you've got a view of the road. Get a time lapse going. I wanted a simple camera that I could just set up, point, shoot, and it would capture anything and everything. And with the wide angle lens, it can literally capture anything. One thing I will say though, if you're wanting to use it as an actual vlogging camera, the microphone isn't great. I think it's greatly improved from the older models, but I don't think it's quite there yet. Here's some of the footage I took when we took it up to the wind farm the other day. It's not the best. Oh. So I've done a little bit of film with the GoPro, I'm shooting on it right now. Um, took it up to the wind farm to test how, like, if you can't handle wind noise with a friggin' wind farm, then where can it, you know? That being said, in a non-windy environment, it works great. So I took this camera to Iceland the other day to test out some of its capabilities, some of the slow-mo, a little bit of vlogging stuff. Let me know what you think in the comments. Be interested to hear your thoughts. Okay, so we made it here to Iceland. We are here in Reykjavik, and look at that view. Um, it's a cracking place, cracking night, minus nine. It's pretty chilly, my hands are so cold. But I'm in love already. Love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, so another reason I got this camera was the hyper smooth stabilization. Now I've used GoPros in the past, and a couple of years ago I used a GoPro Hero 5, I think it was, um, on a trip to Isla. And walking along the beach, just kind of filming ourselves, and it was so shaky. Incredible, like, it was unusable shaky footage. So GoPro have really bigged up how their new stabilization feature is working. So I thought I'd do a little bit of testing again up the wind farm. See how that fares, check it out. So is the GoPro Hero 7 any good? I think so. I'm totally gonna to keep this in my camera bag, purely for those little creative shots. I never again have to say, I wish I had a GoPro to strap on that. I've got one. Thumbnail. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, hit that like button. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for all the support you gave me on the last video. And I'll hopefully be able to do these videos every week or every two weeks maybe. Um, really enjoyed making them. I've been Craig, you've been great. See you later.